We're talking to Reverend Daniel Hayes of Gordon United uh, Methodist Church, Gordon Memorial United Methodist Church, and the topic is the mentoring program that uh, his church has developed under his leadership. And of course, Reverend Hayes, what we'd like to do is to uh, look at uh, the importance of this program and what you have been able to achieve at uh, Gordon uh, Memorial United Methodist Church, uh, it being one of the uh, more influential uh, churches uh, within uh, the uh, United Methodist uh, religion. And so uh, we believe that if uh, perhaps uh, you can give us some idea as to what you've been able to achieve there, then you can talk about how you were able to uh, perhaps reach out beyond your boundaries and to touch other lives in reference to this program. One of the things we want to do, Dr. Haney, is, is to reach out beyond uh, Gordon Memorial Walls. Mm -hmm. um, I've always believed, as uh, uh, when I uh, put this program together, uh, I always believe in all of our ministries mm -hmm. that if I train my child, yeah. uh, I'm not, and, and then I'm doing all right. But when my child gets into the real world mm -hmm. and face other kids, if those kids mm -hmm. are not uh, trained, mm -hmm. if those kids are not equipped mm -hmm. with the same thing, mm -hmm. then uh, it does me a little good mm -hmm. to train mine. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do is to make sure that we're training the whole community mm -hmm. so everyone will have respect for everyone. And we think we're doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, even beyond uh, uh, young gentlemen, uh, uh, some of the programs we have at uh, 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 Gore Memorial, uh, 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 mm -hmm. we're developing programs all the time that will, that will help our, our children and our youth, mm -hmm. uh, male and female. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, so Selinda Hughes came up with a program entitled uh, 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 ID, Safety ID. So mm -hmm. our kids, all of our kids are being ID. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's one program. We, we, we're, we're developing programs for our children, for our youth. Mm -hmm. We're coming up with all kind of training and teaching things for our youth. Mm -hmm. so some of the things that we want to do and we're doing with uh, young gentlemen mm -hmm. is even teaching our young men mm -hmm. uh, how to... Uh, respond to police officers. Mm -hmm. uh, young men are going to grow up. One day they're going to be driving. Mm -hmm. uh, especially black young men, this is crucial. Mm -hmm. uh, if the police put his lights on behind a, a black young man, what do you do? Mm -hmm. If you have committed a, a, a small infraction of the law, mm -hmm. even if uh, you have done something else, mm -hmm. uh, the worst thing that a young man can do, and we are uh, talking to our youth yeah. about mm -hmm. this, is to take off and start speeding, or mm -hmm. jump out of your car, running mm -hmm. then what happens there is that you call, can cause danger to yourself mm -hmm. you can be killed you can be mm -hmm. uh, uh, put in jail and you're gonna have more charges mm -hmm. so what we're trying to teach young men especially black young men because uh, 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 they're already uh, uh, everybody seem to be scared of, of, of our young men so mm -hmm. we tell them to pull over right away we're mm -hmm. teaching this mm -hmm. how to be stopped by the police mm -hmm. you could run a stop sign you could be mm -hmm. red like could be something mm -hmm. insignificant mm -hmm. but we don't want them to turn it into something major mm -hmm. so uh, we are trying to teach them pull over how to talk to the police mm -hmm. yes sir the police mm -hmm. it goes a long way mm -hmm. uh, respond mm -hmm. be cooperate mm -hmm. and so these these are things that we feel that are that are very Mm -hmm. uh, important to the life and the mm -hmm. health of, of young men. One of the things, uh, Dr. Haney, that we really want to do mm -hmm. is uh, focus on our young, young people's dress. Uh, we want them to, to be their best in everything that yeah. they mm -hmm. do, uh, especially how to relate to uh, other people, how mm -hmm. to talk to other people, mm -hmm. not carry a chip on your shoulder, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, not uh, be in a frowning type attitude <laughs> all the time mm -hmm. uh, and not be aggressive all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes be humble. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we believe that if you can humble yourself that God will make a way mm -hmm. uh, for you even out of no way. Mm -hmm. And it goes a long way. And, and, and these are proven uh, 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 facts. So we're, we're, we want to focus on uh, the attitude. Mm -hmm. We want to focus on the speech. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, focus on the dress. Mm -hmm. Uh, we want to even uh, focus on your facial expressions yeah. mm -hmm. of young young men, and, mm -hmm. and this is some of the things that we are trying to mm -hmm. trying to do to make sure that they will have an opportunity mm -hmm. in life. Uh, one of the things we we, we we stress is we're trying hard to make sure we keep uh, young men out of uh, juvenile, mm -hmm. out of prison, mm -hmm. uh, and to and, and and keep them in school, mm -hmm. uh, keep them reaching for dreams. Uh, that would be valuable to their lives and that would benefit them uh, through years to come. We've been uh, talking about how to save money, uh, how to budget.
These are things that I think are very important mm -hmm. at, uh, from a time a kid get his first job. Mm -hmm. uh, you got, we got to start teaching kids, and we're doing that, mm -hmm. teaching kids how to budget your money from day one. Mm -hmm. Make sure you give God his portion, mm -hmm. and then make sure you put some money up mm -hmm. uh, uh, for yourself for a, a rainy day. Uh, one of the things I think we're going to have to venture in is, is, is uh, mm -hmm. talking to the kids uh, about controlling uh, cell phone use mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that bill is for a lot mm -hmm. of you getting kind of mm -hmm. high. Right now, parents are probably bearing a, mm -hmm. a, a book of that, but it's a lot of different things mm -hmm. that we have to tell kids mm -hmm. uh, and teach them to, uh, how mm -hmm. to respond to, to mm -hmm. certain things. In other words, if, if, if we don't tell them you're saying, then they won't know. Right. You see, and, and, and of course, if they don't know, then you, it's, it's difficult to blame them for some of the things that they are doing. But it's, it, it's incumbent upon us, you're saying, to make sure that they understand this. Right. And so, and, and you, you think that you are having some success in terms of dealing with uh, this concept and with these young people in uh, your catchment area, in the area that you serve in. Right. In we, we, we think it's been very effective. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, uh, you know, today, uh, uh, Dr. Haney, you, we have to touch every uh, avenue that we can. Mm -hmm. uh, church is not, is not the same it used to be. You have to, you know, be careful. And we're thankful uh, for our United Methodist men. The president now is uh, Julius Witherspoon, mm -hmm. and he's working hard. We even have uh, monitors in church. You have to have monitors. You have to watch everything kids are doing. So mm -hmm. what we're trying to do is not limit the kids uh, from uh, their expression. Mm -hmm. We don't want to limit them. We don't want to lock them up. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to stop them from being youth, from being children. Mm -hmm. But what we want to do is train them mm -hmm. how to respond in society, mm -hmm. how to uh, respond, how to act mm -hmm. in church, how to live a life that would be pleasing to them, mm -hmm. be pleasing to their parents, mm -hmm. and be pleasing to God. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to, to, to transform the boyish attitude mm -hmm. into a gentleman attitude. attitude. Very good. So that, uh -huh. that's what we're trying and to do. And so this, this concept, <clears throat> you, you believe that you can uh, carry this beyond uh, Gordon, beyond your uh, Gordon Memorial United Methodist Church, and beyond your catchment area. Next. Uh, also, uh, let me say, uh, because we had an opportunity to witness at a conference that was held quite recently, uh, one of uh, element of your uh, church uh, making a performance that, at, at this conference. So why don't you talk about that and how okay. you're able to uh, uh, Fascinate all of, all of these individuals and in Yeah, we 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 uh we have that is our liturgical dance ministry, uh, uh perform the open uh, 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 worship service at our Tennessee annual conference of the United Methodist Church, mm -hmm. uh that was held at First United Methodist Church in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Uh, our, we have four uh, liturgical dance groups mm -hmm. under the leadership of uh, Celinda Hughes, mm -hmm. um, and they are uh, outstanding. We have from the babies, mm -hmm. all the way up to uh to uh, uh, whatever age you mm -hmm. want to be to uh, perform. And that's just one segment. We have an outstanding uh, mm -hmm. at, at Gore Memorial Music Ministry under the leadership of uh, Barbara Thomas. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we have, about, I think, six or uh, seven choirs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an outstanding youth ministry within itself, mm -hmm. uh, youth ministry that's training our youth to be uh, good citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the things we are focusing on, mm -hmm. how to be a good citizen even in times like this. We have to do it, but we got to expand out. We have to go into schools. We have to go into the community. We mm -hmm. have to go into places that we don't want to go mm -hmm. because if we only, if we're only concerned about God Memorial youth, mm -hmm. they one day will have to go into the real world mm -hmm. and face other youth. So mm -hmm. we're trying to reach as many youth as we can. Our programs are, are, are built Mm -hmm. uh, at Gore Memorial to reach out mm -hmm. to the entire community mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and to even cross racial lines mm -hmm. to bring everyone in mm -hmm. so, uh, so our people can grow on one accord. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I believe mm -hmm. is, is if, all, if any people take a motto in life, mm -hmm. it needs to be we need each other. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and that's, that's what we, we, we're trying to build, a, a life mm -hmm. where we understand we need each other. Oh, and of course, uh, Reverend Hayes, let me thank you uh, again over the last uh, half minute or so that we have here for bringing us that uh, excellent information. I think that uh, on a show like this, we've had uh, many members, many persons to come, and one of the uh, complaints they would often make is that the churches are not doing what they should do. They're not doing enough to fight AIDS, they're not doing enough to do this, and they're not doing enough to work with our young people. But it does appear as if at least one 
uh, Gordon Memorial United Methodist Church is doing uh, quite a bit in terms of trying to uh, deal with some of the problems that we have with our young people. And we certainly appreciate uh, you bringing us that uh, information. And we would also encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning. Thank you.